Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is Fun again. We're doing the most amazing and unbelievable number of styles level two. Um, again, if you don't remember, this comes from a previous video which we were doing lists uh, level one, which is the default ones. And what we're trying to achieve is, as we we're looking at this particular document that we've created here at Blue Melon for this particular branding, we did. The level one, which is the common one, easy peasy, and then the second one is we're going to try to do or learn how to do that inside one. These 1.1. How do we do those numbers without actually having to type them by hand? Because believe me, it'll be super annoying if you have to come and type these by hand. So what we're going to do is I'm going to focus on my cars, my word cars. We want these to be inside, indented, and we also want cars to be 1.1 because it's part of my transport chapter. And I want to push it in, I want to indent it so I can actually visually see that it's part of that big group. How do we do that? The first thing is we need to get into our options for my, my numbers. So can somebody remind me how to do that? Perfect. Just go option, click, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to change a few things here. If you click preview, nothing seems to change. Pretty cool. By default, every single list is set to level one, which is the one we just did before. I'm just going to go and say, we actually don't want a level one. We're going to create a level two this, this time. And if you've got preview on, like what I have here, you can see that the number where it says cars, it resets. Do we want that? Not really. It's not exactly what we want because, I mean, it doesn't seem right to me to have one and then another one. What we want to do is we actually need to add another number to this. So we've got a level two, which means okay, it's going to be inside this level. That's pretty cool. And we're gonna I'm gonna just briefly talk about this particular number cell. This one here. That one, what it does is InDesign's got a little bit of code on its own. Not super crazy code. You can get tricky in some parts, but it's not like HTML, CSS, or PHP or anything like nutcase. So don't worry about it. And if you break it down, it's not that crazy. So you have a little pound. That pound represents the number. So you can see that because we're starting my level two, it starts with the number one. That's what that one means. It's not copying this one. It's just it's my first number on these on this particular number list. And then we've got a dot. You can see the dot there. And then you've got a tab, which I don't know if you remember, but it's the space I have between my number and my character. Now I need to do something else before this works. We need to add the number, this number, that came from my list level one. Yeah? So how do I do that? Place the cursor in front of your all this little text. You've got this little black arrow. Click the drop down menu. And if you go insert number placeholder, Guess which one do we need? Exactly, level one. And you can see now that it goes, okay, it's adding the number that it's on level one, that it's above these, which is one, perfect. Then it's adding the new number, that's a little icon represents, which is one. Again, it's the first number, cool. And then it's got a dot. Now, I don't want the dot there. Come and delete it. Don't be afraid, you can delete it. Where I want my dot, it's in between my numbers. So I'm just going to go and click where I have this one and type full stop. If you hit tab, it's just going to show the new number. And that's more likely. That looks much better. Even further, you can create character styles. So you can actually make this particular number look in a very different way. You can actually make it italic, you can change the typeface, you can change the color just of that number up to you. What I do want to do is I want to change my indentation just, just like what we did before. I'm just going to push mine and place it there. Yeah, pretty cool. Now I'm going to click OK and if you wanted to change the space because it's a tab, just use your tab. So highlight it, Command Shift T. I'm using my tabs. I can create a second tab and do drag and drop where you want the text to be. Again, remember the space between my number and my text, it's controlled by my tabs. So I can come and fix that pretty easy, close that up, and then we have our second level. So if I wanted to, let's see what happens if I highlight bicycles 
use my eyedropper and drop it in there, you can see that it's actually reading the second level style. It's not actually working the way I want. As this should be 2.1. But for now, we're going to leave it here. And on the next video, we're actually going to come and do level 3. So hopefully you enjoyed this one. And let's see how we can do the next one. All right, bye.